Today, we're diving into the recent uproar surrounding K-pop star Hyuna and the cancellation of her US tour dates. This story has sparked a heated debate on social media, especially on X, formerly known as Twitter. Let's get into the details. Hyuna recently announced the cancellation of several tour dates in the US and Canada, and fans are buzzing with opinions. This news has led to a fiery discussion about whether Hyuna is receiving more criticism than she deserves, especially when compared to her fianc, Yong Chunhyung. Earlier this year, Hyuna faced significant backlash after revealing her relationship with Yong Chunhyung, who has been implicated in the Burning Sun scandal. The controversy only intensified when the couple announced their engagement recently. Following the reveal of their relationship, Hyuna planned a tour across America. However, this announcement was met with substantial disapproval. Many fans expressed their refusal to attend her concerts due to her association with Jun Hyung. As the tour dates approached, it became clear that four of the scheduled performances had been cancelled without any official explanation. Additionally, many resale tickets were available for the remaining dates, indicating that initial buyers were trying to offload their tickets. This situation led to a viral tweet which has garnered over 7.1 million views and 105.7 thousand likes, pointing out the discrepancy in the level of criticism directed at Hyuna compared to her fianc. The tweet highlighted how Hyuna's tour faced backlash and cancellations, while Jun Hyun seemed to evade similar levels of scrutiny for his past actions. This tweet sparked a broader and heated debate among K-pop fans. Some argued that the criticism is warranted due to Hyuna's previously crafted image of feminism and support for women, which they feel contradicts her relationship with someone involved in a sex scandal. Others believe that both should be held equally accountable. They argue that Hyuna chose to stay with Jun Hyun despite his controversial past, and therefore, she deserves the backlash as well. As the debate continues, opinions remain divided. Some fans feel that Hyuna is unfairly targeted, while others argue that her actions and associations justify the criticism. What do you think about the whole situation? Do you believe Hyuna is receiving unfair criticism? Or do you think it's justified? Today, we're diving into the latest controversies surrounding BTS's V and his recent Instagram post that has caused quite a stir online. Let's break down what happened and why fans are so upset. On July 21st, he posted a series of old pictures on his Instagram, and one of these pictures included a bag of fries from McDonald's. Now, BTS's association with McDonald's isn't new. However, in the current global climate, the brand carries significant political implications. McDonald's has been named a boycott target by the BDS movement after it started donating free meals to the Israeli army following Israel's attacks on Gaza, recognized as crimes against humanity by the International Court of Justice. A significant part of the BTS fanbase, especially Palestinian fans and their allies, have been campaigning for months, urging Hive to cut tears with Zionism. Recently, fans have even asked BTS directly to speak up in solidarity with Palestinians. So, V's post featuring McDonald's fries amidst this sensitive situation has caused deep hurt in the community. Some fans argue that V might be unaware of the controversy due to pro-Palestinian fans being censored heavily in online spaces which prevents the BTS members from knowing what their fans are asking of them. Others, however, argue that the members have enough access to the internet to know what's happening in the world. Given that V is based in Seoul, where pro-Palestinian marches have been frequent, some fans believe it's unlikely he is unaware of the issue. Some fans suggested that the photos were old and didn't imply support for McDonald's. However, others countered pointing out that idols are usually very careful about displaying brands on their social media, and when they do, it is often seen as an endorsement. V has been particular about not displaying any brand he isn't professionally involved with on his Instagram. While some fans try to defend V by mentioning that certain local branches of McDonald's have donated to aid Gaza, others quickly pointed out that regardless of ownership, these restaurants bear a charge to the parent company, tying them to McDonald's as a whole. What do you think about this situation? Do you think V should have been more aware of the implications of his post? Or do you believe this is an overreaction? Today, we're diving into the recent revelations from Astro's Cha E Yuen Wu about his nerve nerve wracking experience at Waterbound 204. Let's get into it. On July 22nd, the YouTube channel GQ Korea posted an intriguing video titled Cha E Yuen Wu 
who looks so funny blankly staring for 8 minutes that you end up watching for 80, 800, or even 8,000 minutes in this video. Cha Yuen Wu shared his candid thoughts about his performance at Waterbomb Seoul 2024. When asked if he had seen the fan cam footage from the event, Cha Yuen Wu admitted, I haven't seen it. I have seen the photos that fans have posted, but I don't really want to watch the fan cam. He went on to explain his feelings during the event, saying, Actually, I was quite nervous. I was thinking whether it was okay for me to be there, if it was alright. And because of that, I was more nervous than I expected. Despite his nerves, Cha Yuen Wu didn't initially hear the audience's cheers. Maybe because of that, I didn't hear the audience's cheers very well at the time. But after getting off the stage and seeing the videos posted by fans, I realized that they had cheered for me a lot. It's amazing to see how much love and support Cha Yuen Wu received from his fans despite his nervousness. It just goes to show how powerful the connection is between idols and their fans. In addition to his performance at Waterbomb, Cha Yuen Wu has been busy with his first solo mini album entity and his acting roles in dramas like Today's Lovable Doc and Wonderful World. He's definitely making waves in both the music and acting worlds. What do you think about Cha Yuen Wu's candid confession? Have you ever been nervous like him in front of a crowd? We have some jaw-dropping news for you today. BTS's Jungkook was allegedly seen dining out with Seventeen's Mingyu and Blackpink's Jinny. Let's dive into the details. On a recent viral post on threads, a netizen shared their surprise discovery at a Korean BBQ restaurant that actor Park Sung-hoon had visited in his vlog. The fan was shocked to see Jungkook's signature at the restaurant. The netizen asked the staff about Jungkook's visit, and they learned that Jungkook frequented the place and that the signature was from his first visit. But here's the kicker. The staff mentioned that Jungkook didn't come alone. He was accompanied by none other than Seventeen's Mingyu and Blackpink's Jinny. The fan shared their shock, stating they didn't even know Jungkook and Jinny knew each other, let alone were close enough to dine out together. The revelation has left netizens in a frenzy, with many expressing their surprise at how close these top idols seem to be. What do you think about this unexpected trio hanging out together? Do you believe there's more to their friendship? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz in the K-pop world, dating rumors between Blackpink's Ginny and Seventeen's Mingyu. Let's get into the details. Recently, fans have been speculating about a possible romance between Ginny from Blackpink and Mingyu from Seventeen. So, what sparked these rumors? Well, it all started with fans noticing some coincidences. Ginny and Mingyu have been spotted using similar items, such as matching phone cases and sweaters. But that's not all. The speculation intensified when Mingyu's younger sister posted a picture of a restaurant in Japan that matched one scene on Ginny's Instagram. This led fans to believe that the two might have visited the restaurant together. Adding fuel to the fire, Ginny was also spotted at Seventeen's Follow Again Tour concert in Seoul. This suggests a close relationship between the two idols. Adding fuel to the fire, Ginny was also spotted at Seventeen's Follow Again Tour concert in Seoul. This suggests a close relationship between the two idols. Reactions from netizens have been mixed. While some fans are curious and suspicious, others believe the rumors are baseless, pointing out that Ginny has been linked to several different idols recently, including G-Dragon. So, are these just coincidences, or is there something more? As always in the world of K-pop, it's important to take rumors with a grain of salt and wait for any official statements from the idols themselves or their agencies. What do you think about these dating rumors? Do you believe Ginny and Mingyu are really dating? Or is it just another case of fan speculation? Today, we're diving into the latest rumors heating up the K-pop world. Dating speculations involving East Boss Giselle and Rise's Wonbin. Let's get into the details. Earlier, fans speculated that Giselle and Wonbin might be dating after noticing they had similar accessories. But recently, the rumors have taken a new twist. Controversial ex-trainee Han Seo Hee has added fuel to the fire with her cryptic Instagram story. She used initials that fans have deciphered to mean. Won Bin has been dating East Bass Giselle ever since he was a trainee, due to her money. She even claimed to have a photo as evidence, which she shared through a DM. The photo shows a man and woman out late at night. Though their faces aren't visible. Fans believe the woman's long brown hair and all black outfit match Giselle's usual style, while the man's bucket hat obscures his face. Although it's not clear who the individuals are, 
the similarities have led fans to believe it's Giselle and Wonbin. Netizens have mixed reactions. Some are convinced by the evidence, while others argue that it's purely speculation. An SEO he is known for her insider information and white connections, but her credibility is often questioned. So, what do you think about these dating rumors? Do you believe Giselle and Wonbin are really dating? Or is this just another case of fan speculation fueled by controversial figures? Today, we're talking about a surprising connection between the world's biggest YouTuber, Mribist, and some top Korean celebrities, including BTS's Viet. Let's dive into the details. As of July 2024, Rebist has around 340 million subscribers, making him the number one YouTube channel globally. Recently, a community post titled Mrebist with 300 million subscribers follows a Korean celebrity caught everyone's attention. Mrebist follows 526 people, most of whom are YouTubers, creators and athletes. Among these are some big stars like Kim Kardashian, Travis Scott, Selena Gomez, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Holland, Seth A.C. Efron, and even Mark Zuckerberg. But what's more intriguing is the six Korean celebrities he follows. Among them, three are male. BTS is V, actor Lee Ying J, and YouTube creator Kwak Chu. BTS is V holds the record for the most Instagram followers among Korean male celebrities, with 65.88 million followers. He's a global star with a massive influence, especially in the United States, where 16% of his followers are from. V is also ranked fourth on the list of most influential influences in the US, right after Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, and Selena Gomez making him the highest-ranking Asian star. Lee Young Jae, known for his Emmy-winning role in Squid Game, also caught Mrebis' attention. Mrebis' real-life version of Squid Game from 2021 garnered approximately 600 million views, showing his deep connection with the series. Quacktube, a prominent Korean YouTuber, participated in Mrebis' survival program and even met him in Boston, representing the strong TIs between Korean content creators and Mrebis. So, what do you think about these connections? Do you think Mrebist has more plans involving these Korean celebrities? Or is he just a big fan of their work? Today, we have some concerning updates about Hot 7 members Bam Bam and Jackson. Both have recently opened up about their struggles, raising concerns among fans. Let's get into it. First up, on July 26th, Bam Bam shared a distressing SNS update where he expressed his wish to sleep and don't wake up so he can finally rest, although he reassured fans that he would find time to rest. The message has left many worried about his well-being. Fans have been pouring in with messages of support, hoping Bam Bam takes the necessary time to rest and recuperate. Meanwhile, another GOT7 member, Jackson, has also drawn attention with his recent statements about loneliness and friendship. In an interview with Asia One, Jackson revealed his struggles with forming true friendships in the entertainment industry. He shared that he often feels uncertain if he's making friends with the person, their team, or their fans. For me, it is difficult to have a pure and direct friendship, especially with people who are close to my age, Jackson confessed. He also mentioned that while he's managing well and exploring his deepest emotions in solitude, the loneliness is still there. Adding to the concerns, Jackson has also been dealing with multiple stresses including being swarmed by people during private schedules and even while exercising. It's clear that both Bam Bam and Jackson are going through challenging times. As fans, it's crucial to support them and respect their privacy. What do you think about their recent revelations? Today, we're diving into a situation that's causing a lot of concern and anger among Inhypen fans. Recent events involving Sunni and a staff member have fans demanding better treatment for the idol. Let's break it down. Earlier this year, during In Hypen's American tour, a clip showing Sunu's interaction with a staff member gained attention. The video showed Sunu putting on a pair of sunglasses and a staff member aggressively pulling them of his face. Fans were quick to call out the mistreatment. Following that incident, fans noted several other occasions where the same staff member, along with others, allegedly mistreated Sunu. Calls for better care and respect for the idol have been growing louder. Now, a recent airport incident has left fans alarmed once again. On July 26, In Hypen departed from Korea, heading to Los Angeles for Con LA 2024. As the group navigated through the airport, the typical mobbing occurred. In the footage, 
Sunu was walking behind a staff member when he was grabbed by another staff member and pulled forward to close the gap. Sunu appeared surprised but allowed himself to be moved. After this video was shared, fans couldn't believe Sunu was being treated this way again. Many were angered that the same staff member from the earlier incident was responsible for this one. Fans have been vocal on social media, expressing their outrage and concern for Sunu's well-being. Some pointed out how other staff members handled the group without grabbing them, highlighting the need for more respectful treatment. What do you think about this situation? Do you believe more should be done to ensure idols like Sunu are treated with the respect they deserve? Today, we're addressing the recent controversy surrounding Blackpink's Lisa. Amidst rumors and accusations, Lisa has finally made an appearance in the Oz, putting many speculations to rest. Let's get into the details. On July 27th, Lisa was seen in the Oz, looking as stunning as ever. A dancer posted several photos with Lisa on Instagram. Captioned, we met finally. So glad to see you. I will always support this Thai girl. Lisa's bright smile and glamorous visuals have reassured fans that she is doing well, despite the swirling rumors. Many believe that the rumors have not affected her or the other Blackpink members. A few days ago, a TikToker accused Lisa of being a homewrecker, claiming that a new Fury actor used to date a member of a K-pop girl group and that this idol had broken three other relationships. The TikToker named Lisa and Dominique Fike as the main characters in her story. Chinese netizens discovered that Dominique Fike wrote a song called Mona Lisa and linked it to Lisa. They also pointed out photos of their supposed couple tattoos. However, fans quickly refuted these claims. Dominique Fike clarified that Mona Lisa was written for a hero movie and has nothing to do with Lisa. Additionally, fans proved that Lisa and Dominique's tattoos are completely different. Moreover, the TikToker who spread these rumors has a history of making false accusations about other artists. Netizens believe she is simply trying to gain attention by dragging Lisa's name into the controversy. It's clear that these rumors lack substantial evidence and are likely fabricated. Lisa's recent appearance and the support from her fans and colleagues demonstrate that she remains strong and unbothered by these baseless accusations. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think these rumors were completely unfounded? Today, we're diving into a deeply emotional topic. Ellie Seraphim's newly released documentary trailer has shocked and worried fans with its raw depiction of the members' struggles. Let's get into the details. On July 28th, Hype Labels released the trailer for Ellie Seraphim's second documentary, Make IT Look Easy. While it begins with positive moments from the group's career, it quickly takes a darker turn. The trailer showcases the members dealing with both mental and physical hardships. In one scene, Chi Win is seen receiving and fort drip, which has left fans deeply concerned. Fans have also noted scenes of exhaustion during their schedules and Yunjin in tears, expressing how difficult it is to balance happiness and satisfaction. One of the most distressing moments in the trailer features Sakura in a state of extreme distress, with a staff member pleading for the filming to stop. Fans believe this was filmed back in May last year when Sakura was too ill to attend an event for Unforgiven. Seeing these vulnerable moments has sparked an outpouring of concern from Fear Nuts, with many fans expressing heartbreak over the members' struggles. This isn't the first time Ellie Seraphim's health has been a topic of concern. Earlier this year, Shi Yuin's large intake of vitamins and supplements worried fans about her overall well-being. Adding to the emotional weight, the documentary comes after months of backlash against the group. Yuki and Sakura, in particular, face severe criticism following their Coachella performance, which led to disabling their Instagram comments due to the negative response. In the trailer, Yunki says, To me, the word success feels really far away, while Sakura questions, Was an idol really the job that I can do best? These statements highlight the immense pressure and scrutiny they face. Many fans hope this documentary will open hearts and minds, showing the human side of Ellie Seraphim and helping to stop the toxic hate they've received. Ellie Seraphim's previous documentary, the world is my oyster, was praised for its honest portrayal of idol life. Make ID Look Easy is set to release on July 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. KST, and fans are bracing themselves for a deeply moving experience. Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, 
keep spreading the K Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates, 